getting a jump on the day today guys. It's currently 6.30. I've just left the campsite. On my way into Amsterdam for a day filming on the blades. Good morning iFam. Welcome to our last day here in the beautiful... What are you smiling at? In the beautiful Holland. It's about 10 a.m. right now. What's wrong, Missy? We're in Brindle. We are! We're all so, so, so excited to go home and see our little Prunny tomorrow. We haven't seen her since we started our Europe road trip back in July, last month, which seems like, I felt like saying like six months ago. And that's why I stuttered then, it was actually only last month, but it feels like so, so, so long. So, I know we picked up a lot of new subscribers over summer. For anyone that doesn't know, Prune is our little Pooshan puppy. She's not a puppy anymore, she's a three and a half. No, is she going to be four so this year? <laughs> anyway, she's our little Pooshan who stays with Granny and Grandpa when we travel. They've also got a dog, Coco, and Prinny loves going there. She's completely comfortable and happy. She goes there all the time with us anyway, so it's like a second home. She loves it. What are you shouting at? What are you Urgh. shouting at? Are you happy? Are you happy with your new book? Hello. What? <laughs> What's the miserable face? Oh. Anyway, guys, it's just me and the girls again this morning, and Jace, of course. Chris has gone off to pick to finish his last few clips that he didn't manage to get when he was in Amsterdam on Monday. So, Amsterdam's supposedly like the skating capital of the world, or something like that. He's very excited that we're here in Amsterdam and all of his skate friends have been telling him to go to these certain spots. He didn't get to do it the other day, so I said you should go back because we don't know when we're going to be coming back here. So what we're going to do, girls? I don't know. We need to make up. We need to clean this place up. Yeah. It's a mommy. big mess. And I guess I need to feed you. <laughs> He's like, hello. Do you know what he did? Excuse right. me. Yesterday, he scratched my nose so hard. And this oh. morning, I went, oh, Jason went. And I was like. Uh, what's wrong? Do you want to come here? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Uh, 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 <laughs> Is it good just want my mama? Who's in there, Jace? Who's in here? Look. I'm going to eat your face. Who's that? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> this is how we're travelling today, guys. Because little man has been fussy as anything this morning. So I put him in their sling, took him for a little walk. The second you put him in this sling, I think it's just that he likes feeling close to you. He always falls straight to sleep. <sighs> he looks so cute. And I'm so glad that he's finally gone to sleep because the girls really want to go out, get some fresh air, play on their bikes, go up to the park and just have some fun times and it always makes me feel so 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 guilty when jace is being really fussy and taking up all of my time usually he's he's a really good baby nice and calm and he'll be passed around the girls which they love doing he'll lay on the floor and i get to play with the girls and things when he's been fussy like he was this morning though i literally can't do anything and it puts like a big atmosphere <laughs> in the whole place when he's screaming as loud as he was this morning he's full of cold he's got a bit of a snuffle and i don't know if that's what's making him feel a little bit bad so anyway he's fast asleep right now come on girlies he's fast asleep right now so we've managed to leave the dungalo you okay sweetheart yeah we hit you excited and we're heading out now to the park. I think the girls want to go to the play park, turn the swings and the slides, etc. We're checking out today. As we said, it's our last day, but we don't fly until about 10 p.m. tonight. So yeah, so we've got all day. We're not getting picked up until this evening. Is very very excited about the fact that Esme, the little daredevil, taught her how to ride her bike with one hand up in the air. Uh, uh, get them two hands on that wheel, madam. <laughs> 
Are you ready to go on the big bouncing ball? Yeah, I've got a big armor. Armor. Daddy's jacket on because I'm freezing cold. <laughs> Are you freezing cold? Yeah, I'm really chilly. You look very cute today in your beautiful Frankie and Lola headband. It matches my outfit. It does. I'm not going to bring my dummy. <laughs> um, I'm obsessed. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm not going to bring it um, because if I drop it, it will go this fast. Okay, you put the lid on it then. Started a time lapse. <laughs> and it lost me. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Now that calm has been restored, I started a time lapse that lasted about three seconds before the girls got attacked by wasps. There was literally about three wasps that would not leave them alone. And all holiday, we've all been dodging the wasps like literally constantly. And I've just taught the girls over the course of the week to just waft them. They don't hurt you, you just have to waft them away and ignore them. They won't sting you unless they feel threatened. So that's what they've been doing. But there was no doing that just then on those balls. They were not leaving them alone. <laughs> it's safe to say we're done playing on the balls. Where do you girls want to go now? I don't know. Where do you go? You wanna go play on a trampoline? You wanna do the swings? Well, I want to go on the trampoline, so will I do that first? And then I'll take you guys around to the swings, okay? Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. The eyes of fear. A few moments later. So I definitely feel like little Jace might not be feeling his usual self today. Usually when he wakes up in the swing, he's like, get me out and feed me right this instant. But it's been about 20 minutes, half an hour since he woke up and he's still just so relaxed and sleepy. He's just not himself today. Anyway, Isabel and Isla, no, Isla's still in front of me. Isabel and Esme have taken themselves onto the aeroplane ride. Obviously I've got Jay so I can't go on with them today. Chris has just messaged me though when he's on his way back. I still have a couple of hours with him. And Isla's just stood eating this cheeky lollipop dummy. So I've had a very successful morning this morning. Well, I stay successful. I've come away with the three clips that I wanted to come away with. I've been to two spots this morning across about 10 miles of Amsterdam. Probably, definitely, almost definitely got three broken fingers to boot. Oh, they hurt so much. But it was worth it. It's all good because I got, I got the trick I wanted to do. Obviously, I missed it the first time, hence the fingers. <laughs> but. I got it the second time, so we're all good. And we will definitely not be dealing with them broken fingers whilst we are here. So they can wait till we are home later this weekend, for sure. So I'm just taking the last bit of the 5.6 mile ride to the central train station from where I was skating. And it's a bit of a dodgy, it's a bit of a dodgy route, especially this part where you're right in the center of Amsterdam because the traffic is mental. People are coming at you from all angles, especially other cyclists. Like this place is so beautiful. I'm gonna miss it so much. I cannot believe already our week is coming to a close. Obviously we're flying home tonight at 10 o'clock, which sucks so bad. I was saying to some of the boys this morning that this place is just, this place is literally one of the best places I've ever skated. There's stuff everywhere to skate. I literally make my way to a spot on this map and on the way I see 10 more. And I'm just like, ah, oh, I haven't got the time to skate all these places and I so badly want to. So we're just saying we need to come back for a, like a long weekend here. It's a lads, a lads blading filming weekend. Because this place is just insane. I decided to get Jace out and give him a feed to see if that would perk him up a little bit. And it seems to have done the trick. Say hello, I fam. It's like, no. Nope. Slap it up. Just going to play with your phone instead. Slap it up. <laughs> Jace. Slap it up. <laughs> Say hello. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, Isla. Isabel and Esme are about to go on this. 
they're about to go on that aeroplane ride. Esme said she's determined to make us roll around this time. I can see Esme right at the very back. Ooh, she's pumping them. It's not going to turn it. I think she's too small. <laughs> So I just got back, reunited with all my girls and Jace, yeah, and the guys are just about to hit up some, yes. what are they called? They're called Mini Mel. Mini Mel Ice Dots. What are they called in Florida? Got them um, in Florida? They got in the tie really good. They got something Dots? Yeah, something Dots. No, They're just like little Dots of remember. Ice anyway, in different flavours. What flavour are you girls getting? Cotton candy! Cotton candy! Cotton candy. Um, I'm going to get cookies and cream. Nice. I know, I have too fair. It's because they know we'll rinse them if they get bubblegum, that's why. Bye. Oh, yes, guys, these look amazing. What flavours have we gone for again? I'll tell you how good they are. I'll serve them these. What did you get, babe? What flavours did you get? Cookies and cream. I always go for this. Right. Let's make up cotton candy, okay. Someone's eyeing them up. Are you weighing them up, little man? Oh yeah. They're good? No. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry Resme, I'll have a little deke of these. Oh yes ma'am. Resme's nice? Yeah, they're nice. So Esme. Mm. Esme, Esme, you won't even believe what's on the floor down there. It's a pomegranate dog. So cute. Esme's dream right now is to own a pomegranate dog, a pomeranian dog. I want to steal it! You still love them the same? Yeah! Meanwhile... We just got back to the cabin to do our final clearing out. We've got loads of things here that won't fit in any of the luggages or anything, so we're having to leave. But I had to film this because I literally almost just passed out laughing. So we bought some soups for dinner, like this pa packs of soups that I showed you in the vlog like a couple of days ago. We all bought our own flavours and which ones we wanted to have. And Isabel, whilst we were, I was actually feeding Jace, Chris was packing, and Isabel said, I can make the soups if you want. So I was like, okay, you do the soups. Esme very kindly buttered all the breads. Anyway, Isabel said, mum, yours is done. So I just, <laughs> I just sat down to get it. And here's my soup. It's like a mustard, creamy mustard. <laughs> but then this was... <laughs> Isabel, why have I got a glass of soup? <laughs> and she said, there was too much in the bag to, look at this. <laughs> There's too much in the, in the bag to put in the cut, in the plate, so I just gave you a glass as well. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, you shared, you were sensible. Oh my God. Good girls, good girls. Jump in, jump in. Let's go. Are we going down? Let's go, yeah. let's go little let's man. Go, let's go. Don't get our aeroplane all the way home. Oh, it's got some snow. Oh dear. Man. Oh, little pony oh, man. Oh, little snow bag. She <laughs> oh. doesn't mind. Do you? He's like, get me my bag. Snow man. So we're all in the airport, bags dropped, checked in and all that sort of stuff done, ready to get our butts on the plane and head home with a heavy heart because I don't want to leave this place. I've had the best week ever in Amsterdam and Holland. Obviously I know that Amsterdam is Amsterdam and we've been staying in Holland. I just mean when I've been to Amsterdam, just to clear that up because I know one of, maybe Isabel said we were in Amsterdam when we're not, we're in Holland and there's a lot of comments on that on the vlog so just so you all know, I know we're in Holland and not Amsterdam. But anyway, we're just through security and departures, walking down to the gate. Our plane was delayed in Manchester for a tech reason, but it's come forward and it's back to being on time, we think. So we've got about 20 minutes before we're due to be boarding, because we were just chilling landside because we had a lot of stuff left over in the cabin. 
that we hadn't drunk and eaten that we'd bought from the shop there, like lots of packs of drink and lots of snacks and stuff, obviously that we can't bring with us, especially the drink, through security, or we thought we couldn't bring with us. So we brought it to the airport and we sat down and had a little picnic when we got here and then what was left we handed out to loads of passengers and uh, literally tons of like pack, six packs of like cans of drink and stuff and you know we gave it all away only to get to security and be told that here in Schiphol in Amsterdam you can take drinks and liquids through because they have special scanners now that can detect whether it's something sinister or it's not so we did yeah, we wanted to keep all the drinks and stuff because obviously, you know, we don't have anything at home. Cupboards are bare and I've got a long drive when we get back. So it would have been nice, especially because I don't think I mentioned this actually, but obviously you guys saw me going out this morning at 6.30 to go to Amsterdam. But I didn't finish editing till 4 a.m. So I don't think I had less. I had like two hours sleep last night. So I'm dreading the drive home. I'm going to be like a nodding dog like. It's not like one hour down, so don't worry. Yeah, it's not too bad. But it's going to be late, so. I actually fell asleep in the taxi on the way here. It was so embarrassing. Oh. One minute I was looking out the window, filming the uh, windmills going by. Next minute Sarah was tapping me, babe, like, babe, babe, we're at the airport. You fell asleep. Wake up. You fall. <laughs> That's like, oh dear. Awkward. Busy scratching that lady's chair in front. Do you like the noise? <laughs> that, might, that might be annoying, darling. We best not do that. You girls okay? Yeah. You ready to get home? Yeah. Get in our beds? Yeah. Kind of. We've made some amazing adventures this summer though, right? Yeah. We stood close in the glittering light. to the luggage hall and you may or may, may not notice that it's very very quiet in here and that is because we are pretty much the only ones left and the reason for that <laughs> is that they've lost part of our pram and with and we now can't put the seat part onto the pram without the adapter part that's been lost so we're just sat waiting now we know it definitely got loaded in amsterdam because we were one of the last on the plane has he got it it's, it's just um funny because every time Ooh, we come to Man i think we i think we manchester airport something gets delayed i know we don't have much luck i think we might have it he's just been to have a look on the He's just gone to look in the plane hold. We were one of the last on the plane, so we saw it get loaded onto the plane. It definitely made it. So we think it might have been lost somewhere between the plane and here. Jace is still fast asleep. So cute. Still sat waiting. <laughs> We've been waiting about half an hour now. Everyone's gone. More flights have come in. And then he even just said, take a seat because- It's gonna be a while. Yeah, so. 
Oops. And oh, I actually kind of want to get to bed because I get to see Pretty tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, die. Gonna tomorrow, right? Yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> So basically, a guy came out and said he's got somebody to go back into the hold and have a quick look, but they're going to be a while, like I said. Basically, the piece that's missing, this part here, and you can see on that side, there's a long grey bit. It's this bit here, and the seat doesn't fit onto the pram without that bit. One eternity later. Okay, guys, we're coming up to an hour. we sat here. I think we might sack it off. <laughs> We would usually just buy another piece, but it's going to be really difficult to put all of our cases and all the bags we've got without a pram because the seat obviously doesn't fit on the pram. Oh my gosh, so annoying. Why does this always happen to us? Hey, little man. Disaster in the airport again. Absolute disaster. And now it's been over an hour and I think we're about to give up because everyone is so tired gone like midnight 1am our body clocks jace is still fast asleep bless him he's literally not moved since we got on the plane in amsterdam hours ago oh my goodness i'm so so buzzing right now literally we just got to the car after don't know what sarah said about this whole pram situation but we got the baggage handlers to go back to the plane to check the plane's hold they couldn't find it and um, so we left the airport after making a like you know a complaint about lost luggage. Left the airport, just got into the car, driving out of the car park, and my phone rings. I'm like, yo, who's ringing me at half past midnight? And it was one of the baggage handler dudes who had obviously taken my number down when I made the complaint. And he's like, I found your pram piece. It's just coming off the belt on another flight. Thank you. So he's like, I'm like, yo, I'm still in the airport. Thank you so much. Oh. And he's like, right, come to arrivals and I'll meet you and I'll bring it out to you. So I'm like. Thank you so much. That's amazing. So if you're watching this video, which you're not going to be, because you've no idea this video exists, but nice one, man. Thank you so much for saving the day, saving my pram, and saving me a hundred pounds. Yes, that's amazing. Can't believe that. These things are expensive, you know. I need to look after them better. <laughs> but that's so good. Big, big, big buzzing right now. Now we can get on the road. Happy as Larry. Although an hour and a half later, it kind of sucks, but. It's all about the adventure, right? You gotta look on the positive side of everything. And this is just, you know, another story for the for the grandkids when we're older. Time we lost the prom piece in the airport. That'll be one to put them to sleep, won't it? You know the night is what you make it.